Part one is framework. I affirm and value morality. One, global justice requires a reduction in inequality and focus on all material rights. Okura Kyo 7. Justice derived from equality of beings, the ability to own property as well as exercise rights depends on the ability to function effectively when basic needs are not met. Other rights become an empty libertarian notion sanction on limited material inequality. Outweighs A. Arbitrariness. It's morally arbitrary to hold people responsible for what they can can change. Treating poor people differently than others is less morally arbitrary, destroying the foundations of a theory. B. Any theory that condemns an unequal global order should be rejected since it would not be accepted by those at the bottom. This makes it useless to political philosophy, which will suggest public justifiable since people can reasonably disagree with any justification for principle given the wide variety of warranted moral frameworks. Two, structural violence outweighs liberty violations. A, marginalization, marginalization spills over and impacts all the types of violations, restricting free speech, political inclusion, and democratic vitality. So it is strongly led to other standards than other offense. Three, structural violence is under, underrepresented in conventional thinking. You must include it as important in your impact calculus. Nixon 11. Slow violence occurs out of the outside. We need to change, engage in different kind of violence that is incremental. Uh, long dying the end is kind of casualties are underrepresented. Slow motion toxicity requires weakening the way we perceive afflictions. Slow violence exponential operates in a threat multiplier. It can fuel proliferating propl- 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 complex where the conditions of life become degraded. The standard is mi- minimizing structural violence. No no active measure distinction of a state's sunstein. Unlike individuals, governments always face a choice between regulating their parties when the authorized private action is not refusing to act. The distinction between authorized and unauthorized action becomes secure when the government formally forbids private action, but do not fully discourage it. Part 2 is the inherency. Japan has restarted its nuclear facilities, opening the door for more reopenings. Core in 15. Japan imposed a ban on nuclear power in response to Fukushima. This end I plan is the first come back online. It's relaunch opens the door for all the utility companies to apply to restart reactions. The application of 25 reactions have already been submitted. The nuclear and energy industry welcomed the restart, as did Prime Minister Abe. And 19 reactors will be operational in Japan by 2018 by standard predictions, WNN 728. Seven Japanese reactors are to be in operation by the end of next March and 12 more one year later, according to the current schedule. By end of FY 2017, 19 units can be restarted. The high case scenario assumes 25 units restart by FY 2017, relative to the low case scenario, only 12 reactors restart. And social stratification is present in Japan along lines of race and class, straighter for Shet 12. Japanese social stratification is quite rigid. The government neither acknowledges nor measures poverty. Evans also suggests the BRP are historically marginalized or offspring of Japanese Korean parents. They are marginalized because of their low level occupation and socioeconomic status. Although prime official Evans suggests poor people be offering children based pre accident EI, Japanese EI is barely recognized. The plan text? The national government of Japan will ban the production of nuclear power. I defend normal means described in Solvency Advocate. I reserve the right to clarify. CCNE 13. Given Fukushima as comes from the state of Japanese civil nuclear society, Japan should ban the use of atomic energy for power generation and achieve a society free of nuclear power, where decisions have been taken to decommission all existing reactors. And normal means entails phase out shifting to nuclear climate friendly energy and alleviating negative effects of removing nuclear power. CCNE 13. Policy should be reviewed with a view to achieve shutdown of all nuclear plants, mitigate climate change, and achieve energy uh, self sufficiency. Phasing out nuclear power measures should be applied to alleviate impacts of power supply and power saving plan with clear targets combined with prices depending on consumption should be considered. Power consumption will be curbed with power saving while uh, renewable energy business will stimulate the local economy. Electric companies cannot avoid taking responsibility as private businesses. <laughs> Japan should uh, suspend export of nuclear plants. Japan's efforts must be linked with uh, efforts to break with nuclear power generation. And next, Current nuclear safety protocol is insufficient, even in the wake of Fukushima. The impact is devastating, and only the plan solves Lucas 12. The potential impact is enormous, and risk in the use of nuclear energy. Uh, disaster consequences is the only way to eliminate the devastating risk of phase out of nuclear power altogether. In Germany, the government phases out of nuclear power scenarios now forcing Germany to 100% of its power needs from renewables by 2030. Stress tests on nuclear reactors fail to assess the full risk of nuclear power, ignoring crucial factors such as fires, human failures, radiation, degradation of essential infrastructure, or the impact of an airplane crash. Part 3 is the advantages. Advantage one is racism and classism. The racial minorities in Japan are consistently the victims of nuclear radiation and are sacrificial lambs when disasters occur straight up for Shet 12. Bureaucracy nuclear workers are prominent AI victims because they are allowed to receive ionizing radiation in doses 50 times higher than the public only so low socioeconomic people like Bureaucracy tend to take that towards Bureaucracy children and direct descendants face the high radiation induced death. Bureaucracy receive $351,000 per day for high radiation work. They may have their full-time employment, a compensation, union representation, health benefits, or full disclosure. They are, are socially shunned, forced by economic society to accept even deadly jobs. This is the hidden world of nuclear power and the poor are also unjustly victims of radiation structural violence shared for Shet 12. Japanese poor people among the hardest hit by, uh, because Japan's poor receive uh, inadequate post-disaster resistance. Many had no medical care, transportation, or heat because poor people tend to live near reactors. They face the worst risk. Such exposures are likely because many residents were too poor to evacuate. The poor people living near reactors are higher probably being hurt by both normal and disaster related radiation releases. Others receive little such no, ri- uh, uh, such no risk and most benefits. Wealthier Tokyo residents receive virtually all electricity, yet virtually no EI. Their poverty slash paralysis and paralysis are arguably forced them into EI, accepting reactor stating their deciding their choice was not voluntary but coerced by their poverty. And in the aftermath of disasters, Bioko workers are the ones cleaning up uh, in dangerous conditions and for, far, and for below minimum wage, Fukushima approves McCurdy 15. Cleanup efforts of uh, Fukushima have revealed the plight of the Japanese unemployed. They have, uh, they have been dubbed Bioko in a hostile term for Japanese untouchables. The army de- de- decontamination workers have the high below minimum wage. They, they work in our the environments with agro supervision, training, and monitoring the protection of health insurance. Most are subconscious, unskilled, and poorly paid. Advantage 2 is mental illness. Meta review the literature indicates that PTSD and mental stress rates increase as a result of the Fukushima disaster. Harada et al. 15. 
Our review compiled mental health consequences upon the Great East Japan, Japan earthquake and a series of nuclear accidents outcomes included PTSD, depression, and anxiety. Articles in this review had higher mental health rates than previous studies in this region affected by Fukushima, along with higher proportions of mental health distress, concerns for radiation, or problems concerned psychosocial issues, including not only mental health disorders, but also stigmatization and discrimination of the effect of people's studies reported distress among internally displaced people. Uh, evacuated have uncertain and ambiguous perspectives on perspectives on whether they will return home. Studies uh, assess the good of mental distress among disaster workers. A few workers studies identify experiences of being discriminated against risk factors for adverse mental health. And the mentally ill face social stigma in Japan, Ando at all 13. In Japan, all of mental illness was found to be poor. Many people have ne negative attitudes toward people with mental illness. The general public keeps good social distance from individuals with mental illness. Part 4 underview. 1. App gets RBI on theory. A. Key to reciprocity is negligence we'll kick theory by answer. B. A. Check fearless theory by punishing bad theory. C. It's logical. You should lose for needless to call me a cheater. 2. Social justice is the root of mass scale violence. The private society for external violence. Shepard Hughes 04. Attention to the little violence of everyday life should start attention to inequalities, which lies in failing to sensitize ourselves and misrecognizing proto genocidal practices and acting as normative behavior. We need a hyper vigilance to have everyday acts of violence that render genocidal acts possible, expressions of social exclusion and normalized violence, and social and social formations, violence encompassing the little control of controlling process that still collective survival mass violence is part of the continuum. Three, structural violence outweighs under util winter in 99. To recognize structural violence, force us to ask why we tolerate injustice that will be uh, instantaneously confronted, barely noticed if it occurs to those who are invisible to reduce and in their fairest effect. We must be vigilant in noticing and listening to our press outside structural violence. Not never will become aware of its operation. Okay, so yeah, I read everything up till four. <clears throat> okay, so yes. Yeah. Let's talk about the normal mean stuff. So you just forgot that we shift to renewables and uh, no econ effects. Um, the plan that I defend would entail that kind of implementation. Wait, so, so you can con how you, do we implement you can something? no you can cont I'll, I'm going to lay say let you say that you can contest the implementation of that I'm just saying that would be part of our that's like part of the process how is that not I'm not going to fiat it you can contest whether it'll happen the resolution says we prohibit nuclear power why does that mean we get access to stuff about positive shifts and no econ effects uh, because in the plan mechanism uh, because real world implementation would involve finding alternative energy sources to solve for the gap. I'm like, I'm not going to fiat it. I'm willing to let you contest whether it will Next question. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, then let's talk about uh, the advantages. So uh, you say accidents require uh, people to be exposed to radiation. Uh, where do you prove that accidents are likely? Um, I mean, it's not a question. I don't think it's a question of likeliness. Just the fact that it can happen and has happened should be reason enough to give us pause. Especially given that things like radiation are permanent damage to people's health. Weak wording. Okay, um, that's fine. Uh, then let's talk about the framework. So, what's structural violence? Uh, structural violence would be like situations where the the uh, the like the way its social institutions have been established causes some people to be unjustly treated and can involve direct threats to health, as this plan clarifies. Wait. What, so structural violence is about nuclear threats to health? No, not necessarily. It's like the way that institutions are set up, such as like dis systems of discrimination and exploitation, create uh, uh, forms of violence, such as threats to health. And so the moral good is preventing violence? Um, I would say specifically the structural violence that we outlined. It's more than just like people die. It's the fact that- okay, why the do way people die and not matter? No, I'm saying that they do matter, but in terms of important, in terms of uh, weighing, I would say that uh, structural violence comes first because of its nefarious impacts and the way that like it's invisible to us. Uh, okay, why does the fact that it's invisible mean we should prioritize it? Means it's harder to address. Uh, means that it will probably go unchecked without direct action. I mean, if it's something blatantly obvious like extinction, we can obviously do take steps to prevent it because it's clearly visible. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right. Then, uh, so you fiat only Japan does a plan? I fiat that we pass a ban. Okay. That's what, I, that's what I'll fiat. Right, I'm willing so to let you contest the renewables. All right. Um, okay, sure. Uh, then let's talk about, so who are uh, Buraku workers? Uh, they're basically racial minorities. They can be like offspring of Korean Japanese parents. And they're pretty much like the equivalent of, uh, the, they're the untouchable class in Japan. And they're overwhelmingly the ones working in nuclear plants. And they have to because they're poor. Starting trap.
ban permanent? Uh, yes. I just remember I did it. I don't know what was specifically there. <coughs> um, is everyone good? Uh, did you upload the doc? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, I'm not getting it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's not up there. Speech one AC crap one MC Fox Charm. Cool. <coughs> First off, space nuclear fusion is the most promising and possible space on the station wall 13. Rocks are harnessed by nuclear fusion to prevent an accident that can be managed by cells for the final from Jane Nassau Street and Science Fusion. Fusion fusion is a slash of time space space. It is through deep space dramatic open up, opening up to vast space of the solar system, human exploration. That's the general purpose of the grass model space administration. That's the science mission director to transform the grass model site. You could get to that in a couple months faster. Which is the best one that had been investigated in the advanced propulsion technology. Nuclear fusion is the most promising of these technologies. Possible others to get to the possible others also. Definitely let's see our first use of being as permanent. So we're not going to ever have nuclear fusion. Second, nuclear fusion is a type of element. A new provision of type of generator velocity, so it's definitely, uh, you know, it's definitely offered suddenly off the super resolution. And Japan specifically is expanding its space program now, it's going to become a leader. Nippon 15. The Japanese government adopted new base plans for space exploration and development on January 9th, uh, 9th so uh, 25th, the plan was released in March 2025. The Japanese government is dropping it. Shinzo has hailed it. It's a fun job. Japan's expanding activities in space. A new plan calls for Alcan and Emperor Alcan above 5 channels from 5 million 5 to 1 from public and private sectors. Sources of panel upgrades that are the system's monitoring and can account for the response of the Australia. The Australia system will be adopted with the national speed out of the operating satellite system of the Lunar Blue Lock and up to 45 satellites over the next 10 years. It's going to 10 years. And Japan is leading in space exploration. Now it's coordinating with the US Stratcom 16. Bones is blind by a lot of space to have bones to continue to include to the importance of an improving space situation with our situational awareness space is only and security nations comes part of security initiatives and Japan is the space leader. It's our pacing China and absolute spending right now. Suzuki uh, 13. 
Job in Japan and Hunter Kinsman are coming to the leadership and influence over the reason there's a space with two hundred lost satellites that don't have a full meaning to shoot that the subject panel to both on autonomous main space and this space capable of the leave with trying to do the competition some folks who would send a watch water competition through a channel and understand everything fear that space cars just as each Japan spent the connect world and and uh trying to three point oh eight building for the partner uh billion and the extinction of biological life is inevitable unless we leave Earth the Australian ten. We're going to come and say whatever we do now, see the thorn and understand the effort is professor Michael Biology for the wind world setting into a working fire or the ever a variola the rest of the cosmos on planet follows the Australian. And copy with us, and the horse published hundreds of scientific papers and written and recorded in 22 books and Harry books and colonizing space is the only hope for survival to try or die. Math and love it. Animals existed on the ground, stop and shimmel, used their barter to mine again, rewatch it. All animals have been done in the next several billion years. Even after it does not exist, all animal life is humble, really dangerous, and animal life here has different has different process of process. The only hope for a trial for scientific surviving is that international attention to the fondness of the soul is given to the 19th of few hundred and a hundred billion trillion years left until also the end of the stock trying to cut over the cut upon corner shining and the distant turns case because. Uh, you know, because Marshall's populations will be the first to be disadvantaged because if resources, resources are scarce and we're about to go say that, then, then, they'll, then they'll be the last. And then they'll be the, then they'll be the last. Get resources, get joined with dwindling resources. Next off, uh, next off, counterplan. Counterplan tax. We uh, uh, tax the Japanese government to stop all government-funded nuclear uh, subsidies and facilities. And the counterplan solves uh, investors' for short-term gains, but nuclear power is a long-term capital investment, so the free market would avoid nuclear power. Padraws as well. One of the objectives of the privatization of privatization policies, public is make the market and the more commercial. Have the adoption of privatization is to have the privatization policy to limit these digital seed funds only commercial money markets with their shopper and since the short-term return returns on investment in these capital intensive plants, these nuclear power plants will not be favored by these total plans to construct these types of plans without government support and nuclear power is not competitive with subsidized means supporting it just waste money and it has an internal plan for access to corporate six. In the United States and other countries with power generators not a government function. For survival, the new 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 plans would build the U.S. money to the extent that nuclear power is not been an attractive investment, but an attractive investment, and it can be done mutual exclusivity. They cannot plan to take they cannot plan to take nuclear power out out of all government authority, so it's definitely not competitive. So for superior solvency, then the reason about negative second, um, the second insurance case, insurance case, private entities are investing nuclear power. Then there will be then there will be no waste for marginal communities to have to clean up. Next off, DSA. Nuclear power is key to you know, stable desalinization and solvent water shortages, i.e. A15. By 2025, 33% of the world's population will live in countries without adequate water unless needs the desalination details become operational. Rain water speed water uses already exceeds the rate of the world's primary ground cooking use of fossil fuel energy intensive processes and not sustain the long-term option only. Nuclear reactors can below them uh, uh, copious quantity, uh, quantities of energy required for logical desalination to understand water transits cause escalating global conflict in the rest of the Water scarcity deals with political stress between international water wars. Uh, many, many countries are going to have consequences of the competition for water limits. So what conflict uh, in the current and the current conflict only uh, glimpses of water wars after water crisis and after that we need uh, to only need to ensure more proper drop but instead of the water wars that will set are also turns case one uh, when if there's, a, if there's a shortage of shortage water mark on submitted with the last single water because they uh, don't, 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 don't have much money political clubs as others second uh, you know, something else like second is like the global conflict for us missing 11 uh, 11 after this specifically mentions social unrest mark on submitted will be, will, will be the first to feel the impact of water war conflict and that goes nuclear as a war 12. Conflicts are likely upper uh, the upper states maximize what nuclear and plus the needs of lower states water needs are only just proportional to the level of nuclear nuclear water state uh, and nuclear water rivers uh, water scarcity needs you know and stuff from state and countries report us to a central level of local which is set to use nukes uh, and one hand opposite doctrine points out uh, country information of results in the nuclear test also nuclear uh, the war turns case one uh, when one, 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 one the government has to clean out has to clean up the fallout from nuclear attacks and the marginalist minutes were the first to be conscripted in the service to clean it up second marginalist minutes will be targeted because the most vulnerable uh, to nuclear attacks and now the case framework you should prefer him, you should prefer an extinction first calculus. Uh, the moral insertion means extinction comes first under any moral system. Bosher. Uncertain, uncertain about all similarities with recognizes the way Dr. Von Fleming will recognize what the state future important to show that the future inspiration can look at present person with five C's and follow lies about the nature of the problem of the future. Let us know so if you have the slightest uncertainty from the way to fall uh, to me and extinction includes all values, so it's on the wrong under any moral code, on, under any moral code CLE 86. Human extinction, unlike any other person, no conceivable human good to be with respect to the term, and therefore to be human good must be some kind of human state, the first of the extinction will not make no more from a slightly moral code and uh, now. I was specifically mentioned nuclear wars more specific, more topic specific and uh, extinction and, 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 and the minority communities were the first to go extinct because the because yeah, caused by the vulnerable dragon from the Disa Trans case uh, trans case stuff now. Uh, you now now uh, your framework proper. Um uh first uh overview 
None of you know all of them. All of them. All the entirety of the, the entirety of Eternal Strike. Eternal Strike assumes that death is bad. Probably means that probably means uh, that that probably means the good that you establish in the uh, one and you and that that means the good that you establish in the one you see and uh, and uh, also um, off of Karate one the one one. This is cap specific. This is cap specific. This is uh, this is not specific general question. Now your advantages one. Uh, you don't prove accident. You don't prove accidents. There are accidents. And there's, and there's no disadvantage of minority communities anyway. So it doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, it's not inherent. Most countries are not developed. Are not ready to develop nuclear power even. Japan. And sure, 12. Yeah. Small countries really um, are able and rarely able to implement uh, energy system transformation of the system. Some of the United States, this is a potential for a lot of human resources, not a national nuclear power for a lot of countries. We make that rich for at least 20 and 50 countries. Uh, and nuclear power is not happening. Access control, a couple of opinion, a couple are the key about the government back in Fukushima proves in uh, Europe 12. Strong government back in the system is necessary for the development of nuclear power. Some of the public support of nuclear power is very energy to compel and the public opinion is with nuclear access. Each such thing is public opinion may affect both in the short term and the short term. And uh, nuclear infrastructure is waning now, share 12. Trying to catch the poor people and people who are in nuclear, not just 20 or 29 because nuclear power is not starting to construct construction of nuclear power plant in the last 20 years. Okay. Cross text? Yeah. Okay. What exactly is the counter point text? Can you say it again? Yeah. Um, text. Uh, Japan should uh, stop all government subsidies, funding, and nuclear power programs. Okay. How does that solve the case? Because um, the argument is that left to the free market, nuclear power will lapse because it's not competitive, and so uh, we stop. Uh, and so uh, there won't be any more nuclear power energy because, so uh, yeah, that stops nuclear power. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go to the analytic you make on like my inherent. So you say that I don't prove no accidents. What does that have to do with? Sorry, that? I said you don't prove any accidents. Um, okay. And but so my impacts. Some of my impacts are coming off just routine production of nuclear power, not accidents. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, I'd say that uh, the uh, only significant impact of 1AC is from accidents. And so if you don't prove that there's going to be accidents, then obviously you don't get access to most of your offense. Okay. I mean, sure, you still get like some very small links, like routine right. operation. But. Cool. Um, let's go to the uh, space to set. Mm -hmm. uh, can you explain to me why Japan uniquely is key? Like, yeah. So... Uh, the Suzuki evidence says that Japan, uh, so it makes two arguments. First, uh, space power has shifted to the east, so an eastern country needs to take the lead. Um, okay. Second, Japan is outpacing China in spending right now, so they're, so they're the best candidate for okay. being the space leader. For in like, wait, in terms of nuclear spending or space spending? Um, in terms of space spending, but that that doesn't, uh, so it still matters because obviously if Japan has the most space spending, then they should okay. be the ones to take the Where do you show that Japan so, is developing technology where their nuclear reactors can be used to uh, have spaceships? Yeah, so, sure. So the Walter Teen evidence says that international scientists are working on it. And so, okay, once great. It's what about Japan? Uh, yeah, so once it's developed, Japan can use it, right? And so if Japan has the most advanced space program now, okay. then. What's the time frame on the impact for extinction? Um, I would argue that the time frame is pretty close. Um, the Australian 10 evidence says we're going to pretty close. That was become that, extinct. I mean, if you're using that card, that was six years ago. Yeah, so it's not like we're going to become extinct in the next year. But also, it's not. But also, the time frame doesn't matter so much. It's a question of uh, reversibility. If we have a permanent ban on nuclear power in Japan, then we are never going to get to space, and we will literally all die. Okay. Uh, why is nuclear specifically key? Why can't there be like other tech? Yeah. Um, so the wall 13 evidence is pretty good on this. Um, so the other methods are super expensive and inefficient and don't work very well. Japan nuclear fusion is the most promising of these possibilities. And also I would argue that it's a link differential question. Um, like, yes, uh, we might be able to get to, uh, Mars with like substandard technology, but if nuclear fusion is the most promising, we should, okay. we should obviously use that. And if we're the impacts, then yeah, we should just find the best cool. way to get to space. Is that a counter plan? Um, conditional. All right. How does it compete? Um, yeah, I made a competition argument. So the plan specifically involves government. Oh, so it's just mutually exclusive. The government regulation, yeah, and then if it solves that, then it solves the okay, cool. Wouldn't it be better? Sorry, just 
clarify, plan tax is reduce subsidies or kill subsidies, right? Um, get rid of all subsidies and government okay. uh, support and construction reactors. Okay, cool. Carpet, right? No, it's not. It's carpet. Cool. Right Okay, stop for a minute left. Uh, I'll upload. There's like one card I might read. So. Um, yeah, that's all. What's the order? Uh, case starting on framework, uh, then uh, the contentions. Um, wait, yeah, sorry. Case on case. It's going to be frame the framework arguments, then some of the enhancer stuff you had, the advantages. Then uh, counter plan, disad, uh, the space disad, then desal on bottom. Is there a one AR card up? Yep. Okay. Where are we starting? Uh, ca on case, it's going to be case first on framework. And then counter plan. This has. Yeah, think prep for that or free flowing. All right, let's go. Uh, I mean, you can skip the card up. I'm good. You can skip. Oh, you're good. Okay. On framework group B, the, the, the extinction wave first. One, the extinction wave is bad, causes policy paralysis. Every action entails some risk of extinction, which means that there's no way for us to decide what action to take under this extinction framing. Two, you conceded the Shepard Hughes evidence on the underview. Extend Shepard Hughes. Uh, uh, structural violence creates the, uh, primes us for genocidal thinking, which means that uh, you have no unique access to extinction impacts. Uh, conceding the Shepard Hughes means that our structural violence impacts can impact the extinction anyway. Three, your extinction scenarios assume that there's some value to human life, but structural violence controls the internal link to this because it determines whether or not some my lives have value or not. Then uh, you say that uh, you say that uh, my framework assumes that death, death is bad, but no, it doesn't. Uh, racism, things like racism that don't cause death would still be bad under this framework because it's still a form of structural violence. The next on local record, you say that it caps for the capital specific way. You ignore the internal war, which talks about how uh, uh, material conditions are key to having rights. So, so uh, I don't with really this about that argument doesn't answer the internal war of Okoraki. Then on inherency, first you say that there's no accidents. One, Lucas 12 disproves this. Uh, uh, Fukushima, uh, there's, there's act, there has been accidents like Fukushima, and there's more risk for it. Two, Traditional probability-based analysis doesn't apply to nuclear energy, CCNE 13. 
Nuclear technologies, the nuclear material, large scale access to safety cannot be discussed by probability based risk evaluation. The safest option would be immediately close down all nuclear power. The scale of potential access is too vast. The men group all is to sharp 12 cards on inherency. The one, and this regard them, they're generic and not specific to Japan. Two, uh, cross apply my corn 15 and WN 728 evidence, uh, prefer, uh, which both show inherency for Japan. They're restarting the nuclear plants and, uh, and opening the door for more restarts. Uh, prefer, uh, prefer this because A, they're more recent. Uh, both of them from, are from last year or this year. His are from four years ago. B, they're Japan specific and don't apply, and while well, his cards don't apply to Japan. Then, on uh, contentions. He's, co like, oh, sorry. Extend the plan text that Japan will ban, uh, ban nuclear power. This is CCNE 13 card. Extend advantage one on classism, sexism, uh, classism, racism. He has zero response to this. Great to be 100% strength and linkage structure structural violence. Extend advantage two about, uh, PT, about uh, mental illness. He's also conceded in this entirety. I have 100% strength and linkage to structural violence. And by Shepard, he's also have a link to extinction. Counter plan. One counterpoint doesn't stop case, then there's still a chance, there's still a chance that uh, corporations will continue nuclear production even without government subsidies. Two, he doesn't show that Japan, the Japanese government, is supplying subsidies to the nuclear industry. He's just saying that invest investors will, uh, investors, uh, he's just saying that subsidies will stop. Doesn't show that Japan, the Japanese government, is supplying the subsidies. Three, there's no decommissioning, which means it doesn't solve the structural violence in the case. He just says that it'll cause subsidies. That doesn't guarantee that radiation will stop or that waste is properly managed, whereas the plan does solve for that. And considering the plan is that they're contingent on the negative health effects of nuclear radiation. That means the counterpoint is clearly not solving. Fourth, uh, it doesn't solve. Uh, corporations can simply cut costs by uh, from losing subsidies by exploiting more cheap labor. So turn counterpoint saw worsens the abuses of the case because that means you encourage exploitation of bureaucratic workers. Space is sad. First, on the Wall 13 cards that nukes are key to space exploration. One, the other technologies like Warp uh, War Draft can solve this. Two, uh, uh, two. Uh, other countries, other countries can simply uh, use nuclear power to explore space. Well, we only ban nuclear power in Japan. Three, uh, uh, three nuclear power is bad for space exploration. Uh, nuclear technology is inherently too dangerous. As a Fukushima accident, like Fukushima proves. Three, uh, four, fourth, you're not showing that Japan is using nuclear reactors to, uh, uh, to go to uh, go explore space. Fifth, uh, accidents turn case. Uh, uh, cross apply the sharp twelve cards that you read. This, if accidents like uh, if continuation nuclear production continues and accidents happen, people are going to be deterred from using nuclear uh, nuclear power to explore space. Then on the uh, Japan uh, on the Japan cooperating with U.S. card. This is the reason why uh, it's okay for Japan to ban nuclear power. Japan can always borrow nuclear technology from the U.S. anyway and be able to uh, explore space regardless. Then on the extinction stuff. One, this is outdated. Uh, extinction should have already happened. Two, other countries can simply uh, can other countries can simply do it. If extinction is truly as bad of a scenario, then the other countries will cooperate and will uh, solve the dissat desal. One, other countries can do other countries can simply use nuclear power to desalinate. We only talk about Japanese structural violence. Two, you don't show that Japanese nuclear energy is uniquely key to solving the uh, desal. Three, Japan, uh, three, the status quo doesn't solve the desal. Japan is using nuclear power for energy and their own electricity needs not to desalinate the ocean. Okay, uh, 45. It's gonna be a framework, the AC framework, um, then uh, the space disad, um, then the inherency arguments. <clears throat> Sorry, framework, inherency, space, then back to inherency. Okay. framework, okay. then inherency,
bringing a shot to Sanders' bit is that you have conceded the room is that you can see the Jeffries regeneration argument. It's a question of reversibility. Uh, even if even if you win the shot to shot to Hume's argument, I win reversibility because we can always reverse genocide of the invalid select means you lose the room to it. Uh, extinction now is um, ex extinction now is inevitable. Extinction now is not um, extinction now is not reversible whatsoever. And uh, extinction now not, is not reversible whatsoever. It's definitely that ways. Uh, definitely listening to Perk now. Uh, in now the inherency debate. You made the big mistake, you made a big mistake in the CCME 13 evidence. You say traditional probably does not apply to nuclear power. This proves magnitude for, and this proves the magnitude first because the magnitude of stuff we're dealing with the nuclear power means that we should prioritize the absolute dangers, not the not, not just the relative probability. So even this means even if I have a super real probability scenario, you have a very high probability, and you should probably prioritize my scenario if it has higher magnitude. That's what your CCME 13 evidence proves. That, uh, and this means you this means you default to your station first. Now, uh, now space to side. Uh, impact stuff first. Um, you have considered the entirety of the space. You consider the entirety of the space scenario. I.e., uh, we need to, and we have some. We will need to go to space. A permanent ban will, and a permanent ban will unequivocally prevent that. Uh, and will, will permanent will, will, will definitely prevent that. That causes the permanent extinction of all biological life. That's the Australian tag evidence. It definitely outweighs yours uh, on it definitely outweighs yours on probability and calls Fenner's an authority on extinction and on extinction. He's taken down multiple viruses and uh, have written hundreds of scientific scientific papers and co-written twenty two books and uh, it's in Matthew eleven and calling this is the only hope. For Survival is try or it's, it's, it's try it's try or dies and it's try just even if you win a hundred percent probability you'll need to do it at some point so it doesn't matter uh, so it doesn't matter I definitely win the impact frame so if I win any risk of then you automatically negate now uh, now your uh, arguments on the other side. You say warp drive solved. You say warp drive solved one. Uh, one of the wall thirteen evidence specifically says nuclear fusion is the most promising. Uh, is the most promising. If I want to get the impact, then we should probably prioritize, then we should prioritize nuclear fusion for. We should prioritize nuclear fusion first because it's the most likely scenario to uh, the out of space and a verdict station. Even if some other thing can solve and can, uh, can have one percent solvency, this has hundred percent solvency definitely outweighs. And uh, now uh, you're not. You're not. Uh, and you say other countries can use nuclear power. One. Uh, you can see. And you, you can see that you consider the Suzuki 13 evidence, which specifically says that uh, new, that, the, that space that space that space power is shifting to East Asia. So yes, even if other countries use nuclear power, they will not be able to uh, they, they will not be able to use it to go to space because they don't have the existing space infrastructure. Japan is spending more than even China has the most space in, uh, space infrastructure. So uh, space infrastructure, and even if I win that Japan uniquely is key. Uh, Japan uh, yeah, that Japan uniquely is key. I'm winning that uh, the balance of power for uh, the balance of power for space colonization has shifted to East Asia. Japan is at least in East Asia. So it has, uh, so it has some, so it has some chance of solvency, and uh, and uh, you say uh, other countries because nuclear power is too dangerous. One, it's just competing your advantage. Yes, other countries uh, might be able to try, but they will not have as much solvency as Japan. That's all the Japan key arguments and the one and C. And uh, you say I'm not putting Japan using nuclear power. One, power now, one, I, one, 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 one
uh, the inherency stuff. You say my inherency evidence is generic wrong. The chair of 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 twelve evidence is specifically is specifically about public opinion after Fukushima, which occurred in Japan. You say it's more recent, but uh, that's irrelevant to the con. That's irrelevant to the context of. That's irrelevant to the type of argument making. Making a public opinion argument. Uh, public opinion. You don't. You don't have any arguments about public opinion shifting after Fukushima. In fact, if anything, public opinion is going to be super bad and super low and super low after Fukushima, especially among marginalized populations. Especially among marginalized populations, the lack of political power is relevant. Will lobby Japan to stop. Uh, they will lobby Japan to stop and to stop, to stop any more nuclear spending. And you say, because now Japan specifically again shifts uh, specifically about public opinion after Fukushima. And uh, it's in the third chapter, 12, uh, 12 card nuclear infrastructure is waiting now. It doesn't matter if it's not Japan specific because Japan uh, still because uh, because of course Japan produces any nuclear power. It still needs to, it still needs some. Uh, it still needs to, it might need to import uranium or get other technologies from overseas. So if there's no technology from overseas, and Japan functionally cannot restart its nuclear program whatsoever. So even if they're building nuclear plants now, they're not going to. You know, the, the, the nuclear plants will become operational. Means uh, you are in a the app is down here also in the dis side. Yep. on case, uh, the advantages, the dissat, the space dissat. Right. Not ready. Okay. Training work. Um, uh, overview, mostly on framing. Then I suppose line by line on framing. Inherency. Advantages. Got it. Okay. All right. Cool. Overview one. I'm winning this round because you have conceded uh, framing, uh, fr uh, framework a framework way on Shepard Hughes and the value to life arguments on the policy paralysis, which means that uh, structural violence, uh, the uh, internal internal links to structural violence come first. So uh, line by line on framing one. Extend the argument about policy uh, policy paralysis. This uh, this uh, still answers your reversibility argument. Uh, uh, even if I concede that uh, extinction is non-reversible, uh, the fact that you can see policy paralysis means that we can never correctly take the action that minimizes extinction because you can see that every action entails extinction. To extend the Shepard Hughes evidence that. Uh, uh, structural violence leads to genocidal th uh, genocidal thinking, primes extinction. Uh, this means that your extinction impacts are not, not unique, and well, it probably means that we also control the internal link to extinction. Uh, you need there's a you need the framework and mindset of structural violence in order to have an extinction impacts in the first place. If we can resolve uh, structural violence uh, mindsets, that means we can probably resolve your extinction impacts as well. Three, you've also conceded the value to life argument. Even if I even if I've lost every other argument, uh, considering that you've dropped this argument, this means that uh, uh, extinction, uh, the, the magnitude of extinction doesn't matter because we control the value the value to life if structural violence occurs, and there's no point in preventing extinction. Because because humans have no value in their lives, and regardless. So, with those, you can uh, you're gonna prioritize relative strength of link into structural violence because one, it controls value to life, and two, controls the internal link to extinction. And on that, I'm clearly ahead. Uh, go to inherency. Uh, you say that my CCNA 13 evidence says that uh, proves that uh, we raise magnitude first, but no, it doesn't. Check the internal warrant of the CCNA 13 cards. It's specific to nuclear impact, not generic extinction impact. Then on the inherency debate with the SHRP 12 and, and my inherency evidence, you say that it's public opinion, but that just means that my inherency is probably a lot better because if it's been four years since public opinion turned sour, that means the nuclear reactor should never have restarted, which it clearly did. Uh, so, uh, and second, uh, it shows that public it also means either that or it means that public opinion is uh, is that means uh, doesn't mean anything in uh, nuclear debates because the Japanese government was clearly still able to restart the reactors three years after public opinion went south. Advantages he still conceded hundred percent of my strength of the link. That means you auto affirm there because uh, I even if I have some amount of mandatory defense on the disc, that means I have clear greater strength of link. Completely conceded hundred percent strength of link. Disad. 
I'm gonna go for a, I'm only gonna go for a few arguments here. Extend the term that accidents mean that this that the scenario that this set doesn't happen. Uh, you can see that uh, accidents still happen if we continue nuclear uh, continue the use of nuclear reactors. And uh, the turn the internal moral of the turn is that if nuclear accidents happen as a result of nuclear reactors continuing, people will won't like it. Your own shirt twelve evidence explains this. This means that they won't want to use nuclear power to fund their space programs. I don't have to prove that it causes extinction. I just have to prove that space colonization won't happen because of nuclear accidents. All of your analytics in the last speech grouped them. They weren't application to this, apply, applicable to this internal warrant. Uh, next. Uh, on the argument that we can simply import tech. You say that Japanese and nuclear energy is uniquely key to space exploration, but first off, you, uh, but you're not answering the argument that Japanese tech, uh, nuclear energy is being used for power production, and nowhere do you show that it's portable enough to be able to be used in space colonization. And uh, also on the argument that countries, other, other countries will do, they be, uh, if the risk of extinction is great as you say, that means they will cooperate. It's a double bind. Either countries will cooperate, or the extinction threat is not good enough for them to cooperate. Good round. some sort of oil shocks maybe or like it uh like it causes oil effects to go through like immediately decommission stuff so a gradual decline because of the free market because the market forces is probably better um yeah. so it avoids oil shocks yeah 
Yeah. If the cards are there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, other stuff about the one and see. Uh, like I said, that base call this ad needed to be shorter and needed to be lined down. You end up cutting enough of the cards that it's only 2.30, but if you hadn't, it, I would have been exactly right at, at three minutes. I probably would have skipped. You just need to pay more attention to what you're reading. And granted, not literally while you're reading the cards. You want to be mindless when you're spreading. But when you're reading this tag with, uh, for the Australian 10 evidence and then Matheny 11, you have to realize you're reading two cards that say the same thing. Just read the Matheny one because it's better. And then save your second card for the 2 and R if you can test the impact. Yeah. Next, uh, D's. I really liked how you had terms, case, and marginalized population arguments on every next flow, but it didn't get used in the 2 and R. Yeah. Um, that and that was a, an oversight. You don't extend marginalized populations uh, are harmed most by scarce resources and uh, by the type of extinction scenario that will happen. I thought that could have been explained better too in the 2 and R. What is the scenario for extinction? It's something about like disease maybe or? Oh, the, uh, are you talking about the world water crisis stuff? No, no, the, they said you go for it. Oh, um, no, the scenario for extinction is like, uh, the extinction biological life is down like, uh, there's disease and stuff, yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's just not explained particularly well. I would just read a laundry list of all the things that can cause yeah. terrestrial extinction in the 2NR yeah. and then force the 2AR to, like, if they want to read impact defense, they have to deny every single one of those. I believe Matheny should say that all, a list of things, not just disease, but if that card doesn't, then you should find a better card that says all the possible extinction risks. And I think Bostrom talks about it. Okay, yeah, Matheny um, says uh, animal life and asteroids. Um, I mean, yeah, so like asteroids, disease, war, famine, um, warming, right? You should just list all the things or have a card that lists all the yeah. things. And they exist for in back files on Get Off the Rock. Okay, 1AR, great coverage. A little light on desalinization, um, which makes me think it might have been the better 2NR option, because he doesn't deal with the impacts yeah. particularly well on either flow. So I don't think there was a real strategic benefit that, from the looks of it, it seems. Yeah, and given this frame rate, uh, going for a shorter time frame arguments is probably better, and yeah. the case arguments are stronger here. And it also positions you better in terms of content on the on like an intuition level. If I'm a judge, I'm like, ooh, I can vote for the structural violence racism argument or space colonization. Like, I'm probably you know more likely to be like water shortages harm the poor than space colonization. Um, so uh, that's a thing. Other notes on 1AR. Um, offense, offense, offense. We need more offense on, on all the disad flows on why, you know, you could say radiation kills uh, water, clean water, right? Yeah. You could say, Something about how uh, investment in nuclear power prevents or trades off with investment on other ways to get water. Um, I haven't read these specific cards, so I can't say exactly, but you just, especially when you don't have time, this is why in your prep time you want to prioritize offense on your flow, because you only get time to make three arguments. You might as well make them all turns and okay. force the two and R to go for it, or at least you deal with it somehow. Okay. You just need to make more weighing arguments. Um, just say like straight up probability outweighs magnitude, you know, okay. like even if I lose my structural violence framework, probability, and then point out all the link chains, just make an argument that says the nuclear scenario, the, uh, sorry, the space call scenario takes 10 steps, you have to multiply all the probabilities of each link chain together, you get some fraction of a fraction of a percentage chance that this causes extinction. Other... Space call, you could say that 
nuke power is bad, we should explore other ways, and then if we, it's like a ruse of solvency, we believe that nuke fusion is the way, but fusion is impossible, and it causes accidents, so if we ban nuke power, it forces us to develop other ways to colonize space. You say like warp drive tech, I don't Could know. Could I also have said something along the lines of like, the Plantex only bans nuclear reactors for energy production, we don't ban for like research? Like yeah, yeah, things like research it's reactors. It's kind of sketchy, and I don't know if you can go for it, yeah. but you because see what the term like, is. Because, like, my research, there is a distinction between g generic power reactors and research reactors, so. Well, the rest it's of not just research, though, though yeah. because it's, well, it's not just research. Even if research is okay, you still need to generate nuclear power for the literal spacecraft, That's right? True. So, I don't know. Um, you could say... I think the other countries' argument, so I'll get into the line by line a little bit. I think that the, the best, one of the best app, um, app arguments is other countries. I don't think the Japan key explanation is particularly good. I like the double bind you get to at the very end of the two AR. Like, if there are extinction threats, nations will cooperate, or there are just not real extinction threats. Um, I think one of the best two in our arguments was that uh, was against accidents, that commercial, uh, these are not big commercial reactors running 24 hours a day to create electricity, they're just for research and for use in spacecraft. But one of the arguments that I think that the two in our drops is that these are not, uh, that it's unclear whether they are developing now for space or whether they will, or whether this technology that we're using now can actually translate to space Craft have powered by nuclear weapons? Yeah. Um, you could also make a spillover argument. You could say that a Japan's ban will. S I think you just needed to do a have better game on the other country stuff. So you should have said, like, yeah. Japan will inspire other countries to ban nuclear weapons. If I win my uh, inherency arguments, that's another thing you should say. If nuclear is decreasing globally now, which he's Right, because in the wire he just says this has not specific to Japan. So you should have said global new power decreasing now means that Japan is key because all the other nations aren't going to produce yeah. enough nuclear power for uh, spacecrafts. Uh, I think that the impact overview is correct and good, but again, it needs to be explained in terms of the specific extinction scenarios. I think you also had time to go for a, uh, a second diset to put pressure. I would have gone for desalinization. And because uh, you have about one, you really finish up, start wrapping up the dis ad with like two minutes left. Um, what ends up happening is you go to case with 115 left because you end up repeating yourself a little bit. But I think if you're a little more efficient, cognizant of the clock, go to desalinization. He doesn't have offense there, right? He just says other countries can do it, um, doesn't show nukes key, squo doesn't solve, we're not using for desal. So pretty easy arguments to answer, I think. No card here. Might as well. You have a war impact and two terms case. No, you have four terms case analytic arguments on this page. Yeah. Right? So, like, you don't even have to win extinction, and this is a pretty good argument. Whereas you go to case and you're just extending inherency, I mean, that's kind of weak. Yeah. Right? Go for offense. Yeah. All right. Are there any other questions?